Well, hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and today I have some fun new Catherine Pooler stamps and dies, and I'm going to show you how to make transparent balloons. So I've got the fun Catherine Pooler stamp set that has these balloons in it that I really wanted to color, and the Celebrate die. And I'm going to use them together. You can decide if I have gone too far in using them together by the time the card is done. But I'm going to show you how to make these transparent balloons. I love that they're all in one stamp, so you don't have to mask anything. You just stamp it. I've stamped in plain old white pigment ink. Any brand you've got is just fine. And I'm going to make some highlights on each of the balloons that is this the shape of the light source. So if you have something that's a lamp, then it will be shaped generally like the lamp. If you look at a balloon and look at what the shapes of that sharp highlight are, it will look like the light source. And you'll see it almost feels like a reflection, and I guess it sort of is, but it's a light source and a reflection at the same time. Balloons are like a whole different science thing. So a lot of the terminology we think of for highlights and shadows really isn't technically true. So I'm just going to use language we know just because. So I'm softening a few areas, but then I decided to go in with a darker pencil. So whatever color your card base is, pick a color that's a little bit darker than that in the same family or family-ish. I went with something more blue rather than a dark teal because my dark teal wasn't dark enough. So I figured a blue would do. And I'm adding a little pucker at the bottom of each one of the balloons along with some shading and covering up the white line at the bottom because that's going to create some more of that roundness, that difference between the bottom side of the balloon that's darker and the top side that's lighter. Again, you can end up with bounce light on the bottom because of science and I'm not going to go there, but we're going to try to keep it relatively simple. You could just put the highlights on in the white that I've already done and leave it at that. And they would be nice, really simple graphical types of balloons. Just add some strings on them and you're done. Really easy. Or you can do what I'm doing, which is the overachiever method and put in more color. So adding my shadows onto each one of the balloons and even adding a little bit into the little part that hangs down the bottom down below the, the knot that you would tie in the balloon. Then I'm trying to look for each of the places where you would see a balloon through a clear balloon. So if these are all crystal clear, then you're going to see the balloon behind it. You're not going to see it as though it's as strong of a line as it is when it's stamped because you're seeing it through something else. So you want it lighter and a little less distinct and not as complete. And I, I missed one in there. I will go back and pick that up later. But I'm also adding some softer highlights at the top because I realized when I added the blue shadow at the bottom, it almost feel, felt like it needed a little softer up at the top. So I'm just adding it in less amount of color than those sharp lines that I did for the window reflection. And when you look at balloons, if you're looking at one that's really fresh, is brand new out of the package, and it's just blown up, it's going to generally have sharper shapes in it for the most part. And if you have one that's kind of saggy and old, and that has nothing to do with any of us being saggy and old, then it will be a little less sharp. You'll have a duller surface, so it won't be as shiny. And then there's some that you'll have in the middle because you're going to have balloons that are maybe in between that so they're not super shiny not super flat so next i'm going to look for some of the balloons that i didn't quite pick up the the outlines for the back of and notice i'm still just keeping them really soft so you just barely see them through but not really fussing over the details and that sort of thing just letting a little bit of it peek through each of the balloons that it needs to and then I'm going to add my strings and I'll draw in little bows. There are some stamps that you can use for drawing, for stamping the strings if you don't want to draw them. But I thought since so much of this is hand drawn, it would look best if I did that. And here's my little bows, just drawing little teeny lines, calling it good. And now the scary part. 
A lot of you are going to say, why are you die cutting that out of your pretty picture you just colored? Well, because I am. Because I wanted to use this die and there we go. So after I die cut it, I wanted it to look different than the rest of it when I replaced it back in here. So I just took an ink pad and smacked it on the surface a few times and you'll see how it changes the color of it so that it stands out on the front. I put some scotch tape on the back. This is like the dummy version of nesting dies in there. Like scotch tape is super easy. There's a lot of products you can use instead, but scotch tape is simple. And then all of these things will stick in there. I can take all the little pieces and pu puzzle them back together again. And now my celebrate sticks out and you can actually read it because it's whiter because I tacked on that ink. Next up is just adding some little dots of glue. I just got this Lawn Fawn glue, little liquid glue thing. My other one that I had from Gina K got all clogged up, so I figured I'm gonna try another one. I think the nature of glue is just that they're always gonna clog if you don't use them all the time, and I don't use them all the time, so that is the deal. So here's my finished card. It's got little sparkles, super flat. It's going to go really well through the mail. And on the inside, since I had all that tape on the back of the front of the card, I just put a liner in there and I have all my corners rounded. So it's all beautifully finished off and fun. So this whole set is going to be really fun for birthday cards. That little stack of of uh, gift wrapped gifts is going to be so much fun to color. So if you're interested, links to all of this are in the doobly-doo. You can check it all out and see if you need some stamps to come home with you. I will see you guys later. Have a great day. I hope you go out and make something beautiful and share it with the world. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.